Hello and welcome, I'm Ayi Makaraig and this is your 6pm wrap. Supreme Court Senior Associate Justice warns presidential candidates against withdrawing the case versus China over the West Philippine Sea or South China Sea. Uh, if a new president comes in and the case is still going on, there is nothing wrong with talking to China. But what is wrong is if the case is withdrawn. If the next president will say, we will first withdraw the case because we are going to talk to China. That will be catastrophic. Carpio's statement comes a week after the arbitral tribunal ruled it has jurisdiction to decide on the historic arbitration case. Chinese officials earlier said they will not accept any ruling from the tribunal, but Carpio believes they will eventually comply. Senator Lito Lapid faces graft charges over buying allegedly overpriced fertilizer when he was still Pampanga governor. Ombudsman Conchita Carpio Morales says in May 2004, Pampanga officials bought more than 3,000 liters of macro microfoliar fertilizer without public bidding. Malayan Pacific Trading Corporation received 4.47 million pesos for fertilizer priced at 1,250 pesos per liter. Morales says this was overpriced by at least 1,000. 1,100 pesos per liter. Lapid wraps up his term as senator and runs for mayor of Angeles City in Pampanga. Morales also files charges against 16 Commission on Audit Executives and Employees for receiving millions of pesos in illegal bonuses from 2006 to 2010. The Ombudsman's investigation shows the executives approved the issuance of checks totaling 25 million pesos or about $500,000. Morales also orders the dismissal of six state auditors and two machine operators for grave misconduct. Senator Sonny Angara files a new bill on tax reform. Angara says adjusting income taxes to inflation is more applicable for the remaining time of the present administration compared to the initial proposal of lowering tax rates and reducing tax brackets from 7 to 5. He says 500,000 pesos or about $10,000 in 1997 does not have the same value today due to inflation. One peso or 0.021 U.S. cents in 1997 when adjusted for inflation is now worth only 44 centavos. The Philippines has the second highest income tax rate in ASEAN with 32% after Thailand and Vietnam with 35%. Doctors in the United Kingdom reportedly cure a one-year-old girl from cancer. The treatment is supposed to be the first in the world. Lila Richards was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia when she was just 14 weeks old, but experts gave her a small infusion of genetically engineered cells to treat her cancer. Myanmar's election campaign closes Friday, days before its landmark elections. Sunday's general election marks a shift from a half-century of military rule to democracy. Opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi says she will run the government if her party wins, even if she's barred from the presidency. Suu Kyi's statement comes after she raised concerns election preparations are marred by fraud and dirty tricks. And that's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch your updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Ayi Makaraig. Remember, tomorrow begins today.